Alright my friends, so as you can see we finally have the official start date for the 6th anniversary and we also have the trailer for it as well. So we are going to talk about it and I would love to hear your opinion about it in the comments section below. Now before we start don't forget to subscribe, like and share to support the channel and without any further ado let's just get started. So as you can see the official re release date of the anniversary is going to be on the 25th of May. As we expected and as I was basically uh, counting down for you on the community tab, we are going to get the anniversary on the 25th of May. Now you might say, why is it on the same day that we are going to get the reveals and stuff? Well, that is because they always do the same thing. They always like to give us the reveals and stuff for the anniversary on the exact same day, at least for part one, on the exact same day as the uh, anniversary is going to start on. So they give us basically the information about the, the characters and then four or six uh, hours later, we get basically the characters immediately so that's how they like to do it and uh, I, I really like the idea that is a great idea because uh, we won't need to wait for so long to get basically the characters and they get to keep the characters as hidden until the very last moment so it's a win-win for both sides now who could this character who could this character or these characters be well, let's watch first the trailer and then we will decide basically depending on the trailer. So here is the trailer and let's see what they have in it. The first anniversary, the blue boys. The, th the fact that the first anniversary had basically um, Super Saiyan Blue Goku instead of Super Vegito will never be basically something uh, understandable in my opinion because... <laughs> Because why? Why would you have Goku Blue instead of uh, Super Vegito when Super Vegito is the main character? Like, come on. But whatever, I guess. We have the Blue Boys, we have Super Vegito, and then we got the second anniversary. They didn't go through the other characters from the first anniversary. Well, whatever. The third anniversary, we have our boys. The fourth anniversary. That was the first anniversary to have three parts, and then the fifth anniversary, and then... The wait is over. The wait is over. We are going to talk about it, but let's leave the, this play until the end first. The sixth anniversary logo. And then we have it. Reveals and stuff special edition on the 25th of May. So this is basically the trailer, I don't think that there is anything else, or no. So here, when they say the wait is over, are they talking about Ultra Super Saiyan for Gogeta? Because they they know very well that we, that we are waiting for him, so maybe they are talking about Super Saiyan for Gogeta and maybe they are talking about something else. But uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is definitely a possibility here as an Ultra character because we have been waiting for him for the longest ever. Now other than that, there is also the 6th anniversary logo which is very interesting because look at the aura around it. The aura around it is very very clearly an aura that would be around maybe some character like uh, Ultra Instinct. Goku not the sign but the ultra instinct Goku so maybe we might get for part one a transforming ultra instinct Goku uh, from ultra instinct sign into ultra instinct uh, and basically they would give us that amazing transformation where he shows the entire galaxy in, uh, around him and then he swallow that entire galaxy or absorb it and become ultra instinct Goku that would be an absolutely phenomenal character to start the anniversary with and then we go to the Ultra and the Ultra is going to be basically Ultra Super Saiyan for Gogeta. That would be an absolutely phenomenal and gorgeous way to do the anniversary and I think that that is going to make that anniversary the absolute best anniversary we have gotten until now. Now, another thing that they could do 
that has nothing with this to do is basically giving us a legendary finish transform or fusing Super Vegito and an Ultra Super Saiyan for Gogeta. We know that the uh, Fusion Warriors didn't receive an actual buff uh, from basically an anniversary or a Legends Festival since the 5th anniversary. So it will be a whole year before they got basically a buff from uh, a celebration and uh, usually they get a buff every six months however this time they didn't do that they did get the revival super gogeta and in a sense they got super 17 but let's be honest super 17 isn't for fusion warriors however they did get the revival super gogeta and uh, that was a good addition to the team but that was nowhere enough nowhere enough they need something great to be basically useful again and only one character isn't going to really make that difference two characters are going to be the best thing for them and it is going to make them basically as useful as they used to be so maybe if they start with a fusing super super vegeto and then they go into basically an ultra super saiyan 4 gogeta that would be absolutely perfect so these are the two scenarios that I am seeing in front of me now. Some of you might say where is the Legends Limited Super Saiyan God Goku. Well even if that happens, I don't know if it will happen, but even if that happens he is going to be a side character. Let's be honest. If we do go into part 1, uh, reveals and stuff for part 1, and we see a Legends Limited uh, Super Saiyan God Goku, then you should know for sure that there will be a fake out at the end. There will definitely be a fake out at the end. Super Saiyan God Goku while being hype and cool, he is nowhere, nowhere enough to actually handle the entire celebration, let alone the entire part 1 celebration. Last year, it was Goku and Frieza from the end of the tournament of power and they weren't enough. With all the hype they hyped them up with and with the direct buff that they gave them and they were still not enough to hype people up. So let alone Godku. And I know that some people might say that Godku is, is even more hyped than them but let's be honest he is nowhere on the level of Ultra Instinct Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito and stuff like that. He is nowhere on the level of, the, of these characters. So if they do give us a Legends Limited Godku which might happen because of the weeds that we got uh, I think that we are going to definitely get a second character together with him regardless of who that character is going to be whether it being basically the the um, transforming Ultra Instinct Goku or the fusing uh, Super Vegito I think we are definitely going to get two characters anyways with that being said that was everything for today I hope that you enjoyed the video and don't forget to let me know your opinion about uh, about it in the comments section below and make sure to subscribe like and share to support the channel and until next time see you as always in the next video.